Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <clears throat> I'm gonna do my my impression. Let me let me drink some water. Hang on, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's so dumb. It is I, Catus Acarius. <laughs> It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We're at the Ultramarines. This is easy. This is easy. Cato Sicarius. <laughs> I told you to do this so hard. The impact bent its spine into a semi Oh, ow. The ow. Used its coated, half dead body as a rope. <laughs> oh, good times. Anyways, what were we talking about before? Augustus. We've literally been standing here talking for months. <laughs> I have not the slightest idea what you are referring to. A certain theme in the chapter you said before you started talking about your green trim. Oh green yes, trim. my green trim. What is that? It's pretty unique. Isn't oh, it? on your oh, armor. You okay. Well, Ooh. for the longest time now, being the captain of the fourth company, I remember times where we actually had a fair amount of difficulties and stains within our chapter's history. I'm falling asleep, chat. Somehow, though, I feel that our history is uh, uh -huh. changing. I know that it is impossible to change the past, but... Uh, hmm? Give me some Catosicarius! But feel that the past as I remember it... Please, save me from more. this. Could you elaborate on that? Oh. Remember when I released that death metal looking brother fucker known as the Nightbringer from its prison? <laughs> yes. It was actually I a like that better for my than the pride, mother version. And I deserved punishment for the shame I brought upon the chapter. I have never forgiven myself for that day. Mm. I remember that it broke your heart, but you didn't ultimately redeem yourself. Mm. Well, recently it was apparently proven that what was unleashed wasn't even the Nightbringer at all. Was it worse? What? what? Apparently, it was only a fragment of the being. Oh! It it didn't even have any actual authority over the motherfucking Necrons. Ooh, well, that's all well, down to well. by a Megaton. Oh. Do you also remember how Kanto <laughs> was the <laughs> around that time? That's a funny nickname. I don't think I will ever call him that, but that's hilarious. <laughs> that's so dumb. That's, that's so dumb. It was a huge loss and had a massive impact on the Imperium's morale. Yes, it was strange enough that we tried reclaiming it in the first place, considering we blew off assisting the defense of Kaja due to a lack of troops. It was a the mistake. We managed to escape that battle. Uh, but what really fucking turned it around was the somehow successful counterattack that we made when the Necros were fully awake. Because oh, Ultramarines yeah. are super buff. We won that one too, didn't we? Yeah. In the oh reports my. I read, I couldn't help but notice some very strange details, though. For one, you managed to retake that ancient tomb world and detonate every single fucking tomb complex. Can I, can I put this at 1.5 speed How to get through this? By the <laughs> Ew. The it, the oh, I don't want to think about that. Uh, uh, Ooh, that's disrespectful, too. Do not disturb <laughs> uh, what, what it? Uh, fair enough, I guess. Well, this isn't gonna stop me because I can't read. <laughs> That's what that made me think of. Them ignoring the signs. I'm just gonna headcanon. They can't read. <laughs> the other thing I noticed was that Zakari is supposed to be the transcendent Catan all by himself. That's pretty busted. How in Gilliman's fucking gallbladder did he do that? Yes! I'm so happy. <laughs> Indeed, Sicarius. Come closer. I'm gonna kill I'll you. Teach you another combat technique so you can fight even better. Oh, shut the master. With all due respect, I, Carter Sicarius, in all my life, have more skill than you, <laughs> than you. But I, Carter Sicarius, will be very happy to hear you out and provide some humble criticism. Right. Oh. Step one. 
Just stand perfectly still. Standing still in combat is very detrimental, but cussing you. Step two. Walk up slowly to your hated enemy. It's better to be quick on your feet and fast with your movements. Step three. Raise your fist like I'm doing right now. And prepare to unleash your burning fury upon your foes unexpecting face. But I, Captain Sicarius, would personally rather go into a cut stance like this and <laughs> Step four. I cast fist! Yes! No! The best spell ever. Got nothing on Magnus. I cast fist! I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Just I Catch the guardians. <laughs> I'm happy. Get out of here! I catch the guardians. Can't feel my teeth. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna How say that. This bar is a fucking mystery. Especially in that yeah. fight against the Catan. Well, well, yeah, especially because we just finished the uh, Infinite and the Divine, and it took forever for uh, Trazin and Orokin, the Necrons, to take down one. But it was pretty big. It had six shards, so, you know, probably a bigger boy than what Katos Akadius fought. <laughs> So, yeah, that'd be kind of difficult, but I, I don't know how he did it. I'm not very familiar with the 40k lore and all the things that the Ultramarines just can magically do because someone really likes them and likes to write real stories about them just destroying everything. Yeah, it was six shards. It lost to two dudes. But technically, technically, uh... Trazin pulled out a couple extra armies to throw at it, like five extra armies. I don't know if you'd call them armies on their own, but uh, he showed up with a lot of points, <laughs> if you want to put it in tabletop terms. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was probably just lucky. The Catan must have tripped up some rocks or something. Actually, the go for everyone he fought. <laughs> He's just lucky. Kind of like... <laughs> Float around, though. The planet is on floating rocks. <laughs> well, well, that too is fair enough, I guess. Though I must say, the strangest part of the whole Danos report involved you yourself. Oh, drama! Really? Drama! <clears throat> well, what would that be? I don't remember doing anything exceptional. Oh uh, well. Oh. Yeah. Basically, the part where you ripped a Necron pylon off the ground and used it as a weapon. That's cool! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. You see, I have a theory concerning. Oh, that, that you're busted? All of these things, all of them, are nearly impossible. Yes! Even judging. By our already high <laughs> standards. Um, and what is the theory? Well, break the fourth wall, please. Break the fourth wall. Saner person would, but I believe that someone or something is manipulating time and space itself, bending the very rules <laughs> of reality in order to make sure that the <laughs> are superior in the eyes of the universe. GW didn't uh. Check their books enough. They didn't. They didn't check their authors and say, "Hey, maybe you should settle down with all of these ultramarines." <laughs> Matt Ward is that the guy's name? Matt Ward. Matt. They didn't. They didn't keep a tighter leash on Matt Ward. <laughs> Ensuring that they will never fail. I. I just need some more evidence, but I'm also positive that some such phenomena is what's currently happening. It isn't the craziest thing to have happened after all. <laughs> uh, it's bad. All right. What if it is the Emperor? I believe in him. But, but man. I don't think that this behavior is something he would just do like that. If he did do it, it wouldn't be exclusively for us. Impossible. There can't be anything manipulating us. We, we certainly know about You're just not that good, I'm sorry. We don't know. It does not That's so sad because it means like, they're like, oh, someone is manipulating us, making us stronger than we actually are. I'd kind of feel bad about it. Like, 
I was like, oh, look, I did all this cool stuff. And it's like, oh, no, we had to ma manipulate reality for you to do that. Like, oh, I'd be pretty sad about it. <laughs> I'd be I'd be pretty upset and pretty sad about it. I mean that we cannot act. And why are you being so suspicious? Mm. I am not being suspicious. You are being inquisitive. <laughs> Leave that sort of thing to the inquisition. <laughs> why so? <laughs> Do you know anything else? Oh, does he know? know? Are you hiding something? Oh. Yes. I, I mean, no! <laughs> Absolutely, positively, no. I don't have to answer to you about anything. I am the chapter master. Leave immediately! Okay. Well, then. Okay. Well, chapter master. What are you hiding? What are you hiding? Uh, I really so deep into the shit mire this time. My lawyer, Chef Master, we have succeeded <laughs> in acquiring a black inside yes. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's new. Five, wait, we are. It's new and nice. Guys, Dorn, 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 Dorn. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to see our adorable Primarch, who has been the little centurion. <laughs> the Technically, the first Primarch you see. <laughs> yes! The guy! The man, the myth, the Your legend. And I understand why. Let us not talk. I about like his it. voice. I do hope our nightly cuddling sessions <laughs> will not be rescheduled because of this. Let us not talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon. Dorn likes cuddles. <laughs> I'm under control. <laughs> my, oh, my gut hurts now. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> That's very funny. Doran snuggling. Cannon. Love it. I love it. Oh, my. <laughs> let's, let's go back. Let's go back like 10 seconds. <laughs> or five, whatever. Father. I, I like his voice, though. I understand why. Let Ooh. us not talk about it. I do hope our nightly cuddling sessions will <laughs> not be rescheduled because of this. Let us not fucking talk about it. Terra, Purple Door? Is that really you? Yes, Phallic Individual. <laughs> it is I, Rogel Door. How are you? And this is why I'm never getting <clears throat> a helmet for future models. I'm never getting a helmet that looks exactly like theirs. That is one of the reasons I don't want that <laughs> in the slightest. No way. There's no way. I'm not doing that to myself because you'll call me that. I'm glad I've seen this now. So then I don't make models that have dumb looking <laughs> helmets. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I like his voice. I, it's so funny when we have the emperor, when you hear him talk in his, his regular voice. Not the TTS voice. I'm like, oh, dang. That's where all of his, like, all of, like, the custodies, the fab stodies get it from. And, like, now his sons have this, like, very, it's kind of sensual. And I'm, like, confused by it. I'm like, what? I, I, I really like Dorn's voice, though. You know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but not as much as I like Jonathan Keeble as Sanguinius. Let me make that clear. <laughs> Here. Did you die while trying to stop a black crusade? No. Well, well what nice. I survived. Keep it simple. Now, Keep it simple. By being dead in pretend. Good plan, good plan. It's a good plan. So you pretended to be dead and then came here to terror. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why? A revelation led me to it. The Black Crusade must be stopped. Oh, it looks weird. Magic pain glove. Tell me what to do. Magic pain. <laughs> the glove has spoken. The glove has spoken, I'm chat. I'm happy to know I am alive, father. Please direct your eyes somewhere else. I cannot fulfill that wish. He's super uncomfortable. He's like, you know, you know what I did at night. <laughs> I will gouge your eyes out with the broken fragments of your own iron halo. If you do not stop staring. No, you will not. My you iron can't. halo was dislodged in your eye socket 10,000 years ago. The spanking of your ass shall oh. be Wait, hold Is that why he has the eye? Awesome. Wait, wait, that's why he has the eye, the eye lens. Because everyone's like, how did you get that? And he's like, how did I get this? I have no clue. <laughs> that's what happened. That's so funny. <laughs> the Imperial Fist recovered one of your hands on the ship where you supposedly died. How do you explain that? I abandoned it upon that ship. So do you have a hand? Why? A revelation like Oh my gosh. Magic pain glove. I am lost on this heretical ship. Tell me what I should do. The pain glove took off his hand. Ah! Okay. Your services are no longer required. I wasn't well, expecting it to come off that fast. <laughs> it is the story of why I am here. Can you please go away for another 10,000 years? <laughs> no. So no. The fact that this entire time you've been alive for over nine millennia from the entire Imperium, including your own sons, just so you could dress in Centurion armor and roam around the Imperial house. I'd like to do I that. I took upon a vow of silence. Honestly, if I was Dorn and you had to deal with all the stuff in the Siege of Terra and everything, like I would need a vacation as well. <laughs> do I think it was the best idea? No, but I would need a vacation. I'd need a huge vacation. Oh, are you saying I'm a psyker because I guess the eye thing? Well, I just remembered that's what they said earlier. That that's just that's just what I they said it earlier. And he said he got it stuck in his eye socket. Oh wow. It's to atone for past scenes. To atone. Is <laughs> it is I dumb. Disagree. Uh how come you suddenly come in here and revealed your identity? I mean, you could have done it at any time. Why now of all times? I must prevent you from speaking of the wolves. You dare question Just don't the talk about them. The day. Yes. For fuck's sake. Custodian, if you speak of the wolves, you will rekindle the great rage in the Cyclops. Immense uh. destruction would commence, and you would endanger father. Well, I guess Mr. Cyclops will just have to start taking meditation classes and calm the balls down. That would not work. Damn it, Rogel. I know. Stop being as sensible as a piece of would you useless sack of sassy sauce. There is no such sauce. When you kept quiet. Well, I think it is only fair that we talk about the space wolves. I mean, if Magnus gets mad, then so be it. But really, though, I don't honestly think that his rage is as genuine as he Oh, I think he's going to be pissed. Come on, you could... Hate the space wolves. Um, great. Magnus could. Well, ooh, it's more than jealousy, my guy. It's gonna be bad. He's gonna be really pissed. I know. I, I I said stuff earlier about Magnus. I feel a little bit bad about that. I won't lie. Uh he's gonna be pissed. He's standing right behind you. Space wolves. Shit, shit, shit. Yep. Like Only I am allowed to quake this earth. Yeah. Bop him. I'm Oracle. You are not fucking. <laughs> he, he just says. He just. <laughs> he just says what he thinks. He's like, ah, he's not listening. Well, yes, obviously. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Captain Obvious. <laughs> Space wolves. 
<clears throat> oh. That's weird. I don't like it. That's why they called him the Cyclops, which I guess makes sense because he has one eye, but like, I was thinking something like that, but... Hey, but I liked your other form better. You still got muscles, but like... Wow. Wow, okay. You're, um... He's angry. I... This is the first model they made of Magnus? This is not flattering at all. I prefer the nipple horns over this. This is... This is pretty... This makes him look like a very, very bad dude. Like, he just looks evil. The other one, it's like, ah, oh, he's, a, he's a magic boy. He's a nerd. That's good to know. <laughs> Someone said, I'm not Captain Obvious. I'm Rogaldorn. <laughs> he would say that. He, he's, yeah, he's, um, oh, he still kind of has, like, abs, though. Like, look at that. He's got, he's got, like, little small outlines of abs, but it's like, it's like when we talked about, remember we talked about, um, <clears throat> chat, we talked about muscle gut? Uh, I, that's a t apparently a term my friends and I made up, but, uh, <clears throat> muscle gut, where it's like a dad bod, but, like, you're, like, super strong and you don't really have a six-pack, but you're, like, still super muscular. Oh, thanks, Ricky Chapman. Also, fun fact, Doran still has his... Yeah, his baby blanket. Yeah, I think you mentioned that um, last stream. And I want to I want to find the stuff about it. Yeah, I'm not kidding. He's got, like... That is kind of, like, a muscle gut. But it's more gut than muscle, if I'm being honest. We, we, we determined that Lehman Russ has a muscle gut. Because he doesn't have a six-pack. He's not that kind of dude. He's got muscle gut. Yeah, d don't don't look at his pecs. I I'm a little jealous. I'm a little jealous of his pecs. Got a lot going for him there. <laughs> Who wants a six pack when you can get an entire keg? Facts, absolute facts. That's a very good point. Thank you very much for sharing that. <laughs> All right, I don't want to look at this anymore. It's it's weird. Commence headbanging. Sorry, no can do. What? I have to go do some other stuff. Oh yeah. I trust you, my son. You will take care of this. What are you gonna do? I cannot tell. Why? I just do not trust you. Oh! Oh damn it! The furries. That's what got him. Okay, there's more. Oh boy, are we gonna see our Grey Represent Knight friend? Your name Kaldor Drago. Your purpose in this realm. According to the ruling decrees of the Grey Knights and the oath taken upon my initiation as Supreme Grand Master. It's a secret. Oh, <laughs> Supreme Grand Master Kaldor Drago. Is that really you? How did you know my well kept secret? <laughs> you a Have you? It's really. Is that like his son? That'd be weird. That'd be really weird. It's you. It is such an honor. The to music. Be the team of all Grey Knights in the galaxy. Have you seen my sword anywhere? I cannot find it. Bruh, is he crazy? It's. It's in your hand. That is a lie. Hands do not exist in my reality. Oh, it just uh, just stop. Uh, Please. Wow, you've been in the warp so too long. We must go before it is too late. Oh yes, Dominique. He's got some great one-liners. Give that man a sandpaper cigarette. Gotta get him that sandpaper cigarette. I'm gonna do that every time. I don't care. I, I don't care if you think my <laughs> <laughs> My impression is bad. <laughs> Careful. We are in the wall after all. There could be a demon trying to trick us. Or a gene stealer. Excellent thinking, my children. It might be a hallucination, but if he is who he claims to be, we cannot afford to let him go. However, 
If he is a demon, we can still kill him in my name. Oh yeah, because you're still the boss. Yeah. Also the leader. He's the mind of our generation. Who dead? Where did he go? Where in the warp is? I call no order. He go. Are you really trying to follow him? <laughs> Must be fresh meat. Who dares insult my most sacred oh, person? Who is that? Oh, the Emperor. Is, is that? that idiot who put a giant tyranny into the seas of Fenris? Oh. Holy shit, it's a cat man. Hmm. You seem too pompous to be cultists, and yet. You aren't fairy enough to be Wolfen. They're bringing back another one? That's fast. They brought another one back really fast. <gasps> wow. I, you know, we were just talking about the muscle gut and everything. <laughs> oh, wow. What perfect timing. What? That was perfect timing on my part. Wow. <laughs> I like his armor. It's pretty neat. Well, I want to see where this goes. I wasn't expecting them to bring him back. Whoa! You must be... Inquisitors? Oh, brilliant deduction. You may have heard of me. Probably not. Throughout most of my life, I have gone by the name Lord Inquisitor Fyodor Karamazov, High Lord of Terror, and representative of the God Emperor's Holy Inquisition. That is certainly interesting. You bear many titles. Oh. All of them to rinse in cold blood. Oh. Though that might be true, who are you to assume this? I am the Primarch of the Volka Fenrika. Leaving Russ, the King of Fenris. Yes. He's gonna mark you. I can only assume that your own titles have not gone without bloodshed. Duh. Such may even be the reason I am here in the first place. I presume we are fairly alike. Mm. You and I. I think we are Indeed. not. Oh, I don't know. Indeed. Except I would never ride in the chair that walks for you when I have a pair of fox in my legs. I mean, if I hell of it sit, you look like you haven't fought at fox anything for decades. You <laughs> have you no rules? Yes! What? Hey, what is that supposed to mean? You'll need to spend more time being raised by wolves, you tongue of skeleton. I'll get right on that. Don't worry, chat. He'll get right on that one. Wolves <laughs> are strong. Strong. <laughs> no flexing. <laughs> what kind of father have I been? Beloved diary of my dark black soul. Oh, where are you? All right, Korax. Korax. An unforgiven chesticles. Um. As I have written into your ice white pages countless times already. <laughs> I barely know how long I have been in this barely. place. Barely. My cathedral of ultimate sadness. This My accent. City of blood I love it. Tears. Oh. My palace of unending, unrelenting, unyielding super guilt. Oh, none of these things oh. is actually uh. cramped and shitty compared to a cathedral or a sea or a palace. You're Though losing I the poetry, man. For my universe belittling sorrow. <laughs> but that is what I deserve for my soul crushing, heart squashing, mind super annihilating <laughs> transgression against mankind. <laughs> but as of late, I have heard things. Mm-hmm. Yes. Please tell I've heard me. Whispers from the outside. Oh, the heard outside. Of a new age dawning upon our camp. You haven't seen it, then you're so pale. <laughs> haven't been outside in ages. Can't relate. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes, Corax white pages. Correct. That color is hilarious. That made me laugh at the at the store the other day. <laughs> My brothers are returning. The loyal and the traitorous slowly returning to the fray. Amazing. I presume my time here in my dark black dragon dark steel obliterating solitude oh. has come to its end as well. The end times are upon us. You know he's an introvert when he says he's going to have to leave his place. And then he says the end times are upon us. <laughs> you, you know you're really an introvert when you say that. Like, end times are upon us. I have to leave my house. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. That's that's why you're here for my dumbness. And I shall be here hmm. in my loneliness. Nevermore. I just need to wait. <laughs> oh, I am totally stuck. It's like a metaphor for my life. Oh. Well, fuck you, crap space. I didn't want to leave anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Help. Help. Help, please. Hello? <laughs> Russell Archer, <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Did I have a phase? Not a kitten phase. Honestly, I don't think I had any phases growing up. If I'm being perfectly honest. No, I didn't. Didn't. No phases, actually. Prayed, stayed, stayed pretty consistent. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Where is he? It's really quiet tonight, yes? <laughs> Thank you, Rip Ricky Chapman, for the super chat. We actually love what Korax is doing in canon. I don't know what he's been up to lately. I thought he was, like, just gone, disappeared. I know he made his mutants, and then he had to, like... they. He tried to do the gene seed stuff. It didn't work out. And he felt really guilty about it. <clears throat> I read the whole, like, the Korax book that had all of the little mini books inside it and he felt so bad because he had to kill all his raptors because they didn't become men anymore it was very very sad and he felt really guilty about it that's kind of funny <laughs> you're imagining gorilla in a goth phase oh boy yeah i'm not really can you tell i'm not really much of a goth person <laughs> my personality at least yeah in canon, Korax is on a warp fueled rampage bullying Lorgar. I love it. I love it. I support him 100%. Um, yes. Yes. Anything to take care of Lorgar. <laughs> I support it. I hate that guy. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> All right. Great. Great, great, great. Support. Is, is there, a, like, a gun, GoFundMe page I can send him, like, money and stuff to keep doing that? <laughs> all right, chat, today all of my, all of my, uh, all of my super chats are going to be donated to the Korax Fund where he goes and fights off, uh, Lorgar <laughs> across the, across the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to put Lorgar six feet under. Let's do it. <laughs> We're going to donate to his GoFundMe page. Yeah, he f finds Lorgar and gave him a beating so extreme that the prince demon Lorgar fled in fear. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Do it. <laughs> Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> Can you tell I don't like this guy? <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe if I, 
Oh, I should do a fun stream where we like... <laughs> Again? Korax is now a pseudo-demon in the warp hunting Lorgar. Yes. Doing the Emperor's work. The best. The best. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Steve. Steven, thank you for the super chat. Imagine if her favorite Primark was Korax. <laughs> I'd have a goth model. Maybe I'll do that for fun. Oh, thank you so much. Wait. Break Fate's Tane for the super chat. Uh, in canon, he went to the warp, turned into a crow monster, and has spent the last 10k years attacking Lorgar at every opportunity. <laughs> yes! Chat! Maybe, okay, okay, how do we feel if I did a, a goth model? If I, if I tried a, just like, goth armor, for like, we, for like a Korax stream? I have to, like, sit down and actually do all the colors. But that would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> And we can make we can make the joke that we're gonna donate to <laughs> to Korax's GoFundMe <laughs> to go help destroy Lorgar a million times over. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad so many people agree with me that uh, they they hate Lorgar. But yeah, Erebus is also bad. I see some people say you should um they should go get Erebus instead. Raven Gardarelia, yes, please absolutely necessary <laughs> goth really okay i didn't know this was something i didn't realize it was something chat would like okay i'll have to see if i can mess with my model i'm curious i'll have to mess i'll, I'll mess with it <laughs> genghis <laughs> genghis john is it genghis john <laughs> 96. Gotharelia, shut up and take my money. Okay, we will look into it. I'm gonna look into it. 